Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you guys are here. If this is your first time, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy your stay and you want to come back for more videos. If you do, click the subscribe button down below, the little bell next to that, click on that. That'll give you notification of when I upload new videos and welcome back to all my returning friends. I am so glad you guys are here. So I'm gonna do a little crochet tutorial. Now mind you, I am not a tutorial queen for crochet. So I don't wanna hear any negative comments. This is the best I'm going to do. It's mid-afternoon, it's kind of gray and overcast, so you're gonna see shadows in this, but this is what I'm going to show you what I made. So I was asked a while back how to do the base hat of the, um, the little hats for little marshmallow bugs. And then somebody just recently commented and wanted to know how I did the hair. So, I'm going to show you how I did this. I'm going to turn the camera down and around and we're going to make this and I'll be right back. All right, let's get started. I got my supplies. I have my H hook, which is a five millimeter hook. And then I love this yarn from the Hobby Lobby, my favorite go-to yarn, nice and soft. So for the base hat, this is the size hat that I do for all of my little marshmallow cups. I'm gonna make a magic circle, magic loop, whatever you wanna call it. I wrap the yarn around my finger to form an X, put my hook underneath the one thing, and then I just kind of pull it back up and around the X. We're gonna chain two. And now we're gonna do eight half double crochets in the center of the circle. So I'm going to wrap my yarn around my hook, go through the circle, wrap my yarn around, and I'm going to pull through the circle. So I have three loops on my hook. I'm going to wrap around and then pull through all three loops that were on there. So you have one half double crochet. So wrap your yarn around, insert through the circle, wrap your yarn around, pull it through, you've got three loops on your hook. Wrap your yarn around, pull through all three of those hook. Hoop, loops. <laughs> wrap your yarn around, insert through the circle, wrap your yarn around, pull it through the circle, three loops. Wrap your yarn around, pull through all of those loops. There's three half double crochet. Four. five six seven and then I'll do the last one with you wrap your yarn around go through the circle wrap your yarn around you're just going to come back underneath through the circle and then you got your three loops wrap around pull through and then take your tail, pull tight, and close. Now we're going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Going to ins close the, the round. So I'm going to insert underneath this V right here. And we're going to do a slip stitch. Oops, I got to get through the, the two loops there. Wrap my yarn around, pull through there, pull through the last hook loop on your hook without splitting the yarn and that's round one so you've got eight half double crochets so we're going to chain one now we're going to do two half double crochets in each one of these that we've done so you wrap your yarn around go in through that loop or the the v-stitch there wrap around pull it through three loops wrap around Pull through. Do that one more time. Wrap around. All right, so we're going to do that all the way around. So we're going to have 16 half double crochet. Okay. 
All right, so I have one more to do. Insert there, wrap around, pull through all three. So I have 16 there. I'm going to join. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Just make sure I insert it into that first one. So wrap your yarn around, pull it back through, and then through the other loop. And you closed off that round. All right, so for round three, we're going to do two half double crochet in the first stitch. So wrap your yarn around into that first one. So wrap around pull through all three, wrap around, back into that same stitch. So there's two half double crochet. The next stitch, we're going to do one half double crochet. So there's three. So we're increasing in this round. So the next one is two half double crochet. So insert your hook, wrap around, You've got three loops, wrap around, do that one more time in that same stitch. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, we've got five. One in the next one. All right, so I'm gonna do that all the way around and then we'll be back. All right, so I have my last three stitches to put in with my remaining two stitches. So we've just got two left on there. So we're gonna wrap around, go through that first one, wrap around, pull it through. You've got three loops on your hook, wrap around, pull through all three. Do that one more time in that same stitch. And now the last one, wrap around, go through, and now you've got 24 half double crochets there. And I'm always gonna double check just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, so there's 24 in there. So we're gonna close off this round, insert your hook, wrap around, pull through all three, 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 you're going to chain one to bring it up. You're going to do two in the first and then a half and a half. So you're going to have four stitches in three, four new half double crochets, but only in three stitches. So wrap your yarn around, insert into the first stitch. There's one. Same stitch. And now we're going to half double crochet in the next two stitches. So we've got four stitches in three stitches, okay? So we're gonna do that all the way around. When I get down to my last um, set, I'll come back. All right, so I have my last three stitches on here where we're gonna make it into four. So wrap your yarn around, go in, three loops, wrap around, pull through, same stitch. And then half double crochet in the remaining two. And then we're going to slip stitch to the first half double crochet to complete the row. So there's four. So rounds five through eight, we are going to do one half double crochet around. So I'm going to do that off camera. So just do five rounds. You're not increasing. Just go around. Once you get to the end, make sure you slip stitch, chain one at the end of each round. And then when we get to the ninth round or ninth, ninth row, I'll be back. All right. So I got my eight rows done. So I've joined together, chained one. Now we're going to do the ninth round half double crochet around, but we're going to do it in the third stitch. Now, what is a third stitch? So if you're looking at where you're stitching into next, you see the V's here. 
instead of going underneath those two, you're just going to kind of roll this back and you're going to use the third stitch right back here and just insert your hook there. Wrap around and pull it through all three. So instead of going here, just roll it a little bit. So you got your one, two, and then your third stitch is right there. Go under. Roll it, go to your third stitch. All right, I'm gonna go all the way around, I'll come back, but it's gonna give you just a little bit of a little decorative edge, which if I would have left it like this, it'd be kind of cute, but I'm going to be inserting my hair in through here. So I'm gonna go around, finish this round, and then I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. I have the last two stitches to do, so I wrapped my yarn around my hook. I'm gonna go into the third stitch. You can see that right there. Wrap around, pull through three loops, wrap around. Pull through all three. One more time, the last one. So you've got your normal V stitch. Just kind of roll a little bit, look to the back. All right, and then I'm just gonna go in and do my slip stitch to close off this round. There is our hat. So just got a little bit of a ridge on there. All right, I'm gonna weave in my ends and then I'll be back and I'll show you how I'm gonna do the hair. All right, so I have my ends woven. So you got your hat. So just for your, your base hat, there it is. All cutesy wootsy. So for red, you can use this for Valentine's Day. You can crochet a little heart, put a heart on there. You can embellish it up. Um, you could do whatever on there just to for the different seasons. Red for Christmas as well. Use Christmas um, accessories just to cutesy it up. But that's just the basic um, hat for there. On the last round, if you didn't want to do the little lip edge, you could just do a single crochet around and finish it off that way however you want. But anyways, for this one, particular one, I've got the little ridge going right there. This is where I'm going to insert the hair. Now for the hair, I have got 32 strands that I cut and there are 23, a roughly 23 inch strand of yarn. We're going to fold it in half. Okay, so you got it folded in half. Going to take your hook. You're just going to go underneath that V, just any V, just go to under the V and we're going to wrap the yarn around and just pull it through so you can get the hoop on or the loop on the bottom half of the the hat. I make sure my ends are even and then we're just going to grab our tail ends go through it to make your knot. So you just got a hook down there. So just take a strand fold it in half go up underneath the a loop pull it through so you got your loop down hanging down at the open part of the the hat and pull the strands through and then you bring it back up so I'm gonna do that all the way around and then I will be back all right so I have all of them on there so I got all my long stringy hat so you, I have clear ponytail, um, ponytails. So I always just got to make sure I have well, how I want to do this. I'll put it on the hat and just kind of turn it upside down just to give me some sort of a base, just so I know what I'm doing. So you got all your long stringy strands. And I just kind of uh, 
it's hard. To, okay, so I just want to get a hold of it on there. So I and just kind of pull it, not too. You don't want to get it right tight to the the hat of it. You want to give it a little bit of a a cushion in there. So it's just kind of pulling it up, and then I will just wrap the hair with the rubber band. And all I'm gonna do is just pull through just to bring it up for the bun. I'm not gonna pull it all the way through. Just pull it up for as much of the bun that I want. So you just kinda got the, the bun there. And you've got all the excess in the back. What I'm going to do Make sure I got as much that I want pulled up. For her hair. That one back over there in the middle. Okay, and now we're just going to trim the long excess hairs I might trim them just a little bit shorter Careful not to cut the, the ones in the bun. And then when you you go to hide the hair in the back is when you wrap the, either you use a bandana or in my case, I'm using red, white, and blue ribbons. So you just kind of don't see those hairs and you just tuck them underneath like so. And then you have your hair. You got your little short stubbies in there that will hid, be hid by your ribbon. But that's how I do the hair. All right, so there you go. Hopefully it was easy enough to follow. Um, like I said, I am not a cro croquet crochet tutorial person. This is the best I can do. I tried to get it so my camera was at a little bit different angle so you could see it a little bit better as opposed to my cross tutorial that I have going on there. But that is a little 4th of July one. I used the Hobby Lobby yarn. Now that's my favorite go-to yarn for like blankets and whatnot. I may use um, either Red Heart Super Saver or what have you. Something with a little bit more stiffer feel to the yarn as opposed to this being really super, super soft. Just so the bun stays. But I kind of like the messy look of the bun. And then I just stuck in some red, white, and blue stars. You can't really see the red in her hair. But I have red, white, and blue um, sticky stars. As I just dropped the red and white ones. But I just kind of stuck them on. I will eventually go in and glue them down so they stay in there. And then I just cut a piece of ribbon for the red, white, and blue on there. So I'm gonna do a white hat with white hair and then I'm gonna do a blue hat with blue hair. And then these will be my red, white, and blue um, fun little marshmallow mugs. I can carefully take it off so you guys remember this is what the mugs look like. Just really, really cute. And then just sit her back on there. I have little strands hanging down here. I may have to trim those. But that is how I make the marshmallow mugs hats with the fun little messy bun hair anyways hope you guys enjoyed as i said in the video i will have a link down below that'll take you over to my blog that will have the written pattern for that the base part of the hat on there but there you go hope you guys enjoyed remember to live a little laugh a lot and love always bye guys mm -hmm.